Okay, so we're on to our next company of the day. It really is a celebration of the aquas market, isn't it? Um, Sulnox, it is a fuel tech group working with ship and shipping majors on cutting emissions. Now, recent results showed a tripling of revenues as the company continues its aim of becoming the energy transition stock that everyone is talking about and buying shares in. Ben Richardson is the Chief Executive. A warm welcome to you, Ben. Hi, Sarah. Lovely to uh, see you again. And uh, many thanks to everybody for allowing me the opportunity to present today. Um, I'm actually joining you from uh, Athens. Uh, we're here on uh, uh, for Posidonia, which is probably the, the world's largest shipping there is every two years so uh, uh thrilled to, to join on a webinar okay so um after a disclaimer which people can read at their leisure uh when we share the presentation um sonox uh, is a product that is uh, addressing as sarah said the uh the, the significant need to reduce fossil fuels um and uh, uh that's come about as a result of uh, regulation having now teeth uh, to enforce uh, the reduction of fossils and drive emissions reduction. Uh, such an example would be in the shipping industry, um, where there's a, a regulation called the Carbon Intensity Indicator, uh, which is forcing ship owners to now pay for 40% of their CO2 emissions uh, for journeys in and out of ports of Europe. And that is only going to rise as uh, the regulation gets more uh, punitive through time. Uh, and as a result, uh, prices will go as the cost of the EU ETS uh, uh, offsets have to be purchased and they get uh, more and more in demand and less and less in supply. So um, we we all hear about decarbonisation, and I'm thrilled that EquipMake uh, is is doing its stuff with with batteries. Uh, it's the right solution, uh, but unfortunately, um, batteries are ten thousand times less energy dense than fossil fuels. So we're not going to be able to uh, put batteries in everything anytime soon. Uh, if you can imagine, the aircraft would need to have a wingspan 10,000 times bigger uh, and be shedding its weight as it would uh, when the fossil fuels are reducing. Um, it's a shame uh, that hydrogen, which is a fabulous solution, needs a whole new infrastructure. Uh, and the, the same can be said for uh, fuels like uh, green ammonia or methanol, uh, which we hope will, uh, will, will come in uh, to the shipping sector. But uh, it's clear that fossil fuel consumption is still going up in the world. Uh, and whilst we try in the Western world to reduce our footprint as much as possible, it's very clear that the emerging market uh, is driving demand for fossil fuels and will be for a long time to come. So um, as Sarah said, we are uh, the energy transition solution. Uh, we are a zero capex company, uh, which enables fossil fuels to burn that much cleaner, uh, which reduces both consumption and critically emissions. Um, we are uh, Aquis uh, Apex listed and thrilled to be part of the uh, uh, the big five that are coming up for the company of the year. Um, and our uh, goal uh, is to, uh, to, to now progress our unique green chemistry across the globe. Uh, it's fully patented and uh, scientifically tested. Uh, and we're able to uh, to influence as much as 70% of, of every barrel of oil. So if I tell you a little bit about us themselves, uh, the product that I've uh, shown you here can be bought on Amazon. So you can use it in your car, your petrol or your uh, diesel car. Um, it works also with light fuels, uh, uh, like uh, uh, very low sulfur fuel oil in the shipping industry and indeed marine diesel. And it's a simple pour in product uh, that goes to work to improve combustion. Uh, by improving combustion, it means we see a typical 8 to 10% fuel uh, uh, consumption reduction, but a 30% uh, percent reduction in greenhouse gas and uh, more than 50% of the black smoke that comes out of exhausts also is disappearing. Uh, and so saving money uh, whilst also uh, reducing emissions. Um, the second product that we have is, is the core ingredient of the product I just mentioned. It's an emulsifier, it's a stabilizer in nature. And that's really important as we move from uh, fossil fuels into bio content in fossil fuels. 
they are inherently uh, unstable biofuels and we will stabilize those. Uh, the picture here shows heavy fuel and water mixed five years ago now uh, uh, and still not split out. Now, if you didn't have Solnox, that might split out overnight to give you a, an idea of how effective it is. Um, we can also reverse the chemistry and uh, uh, split out water from waste oil, which is a, a multi-billion dollar market that we're just getting into. So how it all works? Well, we improve combustion uh, in two ways. Firstly, uh, if you um, understand that fuel particles are actually quite lot on the outside in, and that's why you get the black smoke coming out of an exhaust. Uh, Sonox's emulsifiers actually get inside the fuel uh, particle, and we take any water that's in the fuel or from condensation and use that to our advantage too. But getting into the fuel chamber, the fuel particle will explode uh, because of the emulsifier in that particle, make for smaller particles can uh, react better with oxygen uh, that's uh, made available by the glycol ether as well. So you've got smaller particles burning more completely, uh, which leads to um, fuel consumption reduction and emissions reduction. And that crucible down the bottom actually shows heavy fuel oil, which is like Marmite, burning cleaner than diesel. So it's really impactful. Um, but the product also adds lubricity. Uh, uh, sulfur used to be in the fuel and that used to provide the lubricity. We're now adding that back in. Uh, and we're also adding surfactants and detergents which clean uh, the whole fuel journey. So making um, better um, or making improvements to the mechanical side of engines as well. Um, so in, in short, we are reducing costs eight to 10%. Uh, we're reducing emissions. And critically, we're allowing companies, heavy industries, uh, to uh, meet their ESG goals. So if you're a mining company, uh, there's very little you can do to use your carbon footprint. Uh, you have to use generators, you have to use heavy machinery, uh, which can't be uh, uh, you know, converted into batteries at this time. Uh, and this is providing an instant solution to cost save as well. So in terms of the emissions themselves, by improving combustion, we're reducing um, uh, the black smoke by more than 50%, uh, but critically the, the PM 2.5 by more than 60%. Those are the things uh, that will kill you. Uh, 19,000 people a day die of uh, particular and NOx pollution, uh, and, and some are reducing the NOx by more than uh, uh, 30%. Um, in terms of how we um, uh, perform as a, a, a carbon reducer, uh, when you burn a liter of um, when you burn a liter of, uh, of diesel, it will emit 2.6 kilograms of CO2. To treat it with Sonox is just two grams, but with an eight percent efficiency, uh, it turns into a hundred times carbon reduction. Now we're looking to to try and carbon credits by reducing fossil fuels, by reducing all of the greenhouse gas and particulate matter, uh, and that will be a, a, a large uh, revenue generator uh, should we be able to uh, achieve that. Ben, if, so you, just, the market, ben, ben, if yes. you just, if you just yes. switch off your video, and that will ma maximise the bandwidth for audio because we're just losing your uh, audio just a little bit. Okay. As handsome Sorry. as you are, we don't want to see you. We just want to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my mother always said I had a face for radio. And uh, anyway, so um, if we look at the market itself, um, we are um, able to influence every uh, uh, drop of petrol and diesel. So getting into petrol stations, we're making significant progress in Africa, uh, where those that stop the Sonox product are now reporting four times growth. So uh, there's a huge customer demand for the product. And for Sonox to uh, make uh, uh, profits, it uh, requires about 200 petrol stations to use the product. And we're talking to many thousands. Uh, in terms of transportation, uh, obviously huge global market market in trucks and, and logistics, uh, but really shipping is uh, why I'm here in Athens. Uh, we're talking to around five and a half thousand, uh, uh, a fleet of around five and a half thousand ships uh, in, in, our, um, in our pipeline at the moment. And we really only need 40 of these vessels to, to buy the product uh, and for us to become a, a profitable company. Uh, and this is because uh, when, when ships use Solnox, they burn 30, 40, 50 tons of fuel a day. Uh, and for one ship, they're uh, saving maybe 250 or $300,000 per annum. Um, but as, as I mentioned, mining uh, consumes a huge amount of, uh, of fossil fuels and generators. I was in Nigeria uh, only a couple of weeks ago where every home has two generators due to the power uh, supply grid being uh, 
uh, not reliable. And uh, then you have power stations and those islands around the world that rely solely on generators, uh, where we're showing about a 15% reduction in fuel consumption. Um, so it, looking forward, uh, we're super excited. Uh, Sarah, you, you mentioned our, uh, our uh, uh, revenue growth. Uh, yes, well, this is uh, the, the hockey stick that we all want. And our share price is also mirroring this as uh, indicated by Sarah earlier. Um, it's a hugely, uh, uh, hugely developing uh, growth plan that we've got. We've just hired someone in North America. We're just tipping our, uh, dipping our toe in uh, India and China now showing interest. Uh, and as I mentioned, the biofuel world is going to expand dramatically and we're able to uh, assist there. So uh, revenue growth is expected to continue uh, and to be multiples of what it is uh, today. Um, in, in summary, we are now already in more than 34 countries in the world uh, and selling to all of those different industries through distributors. So uh, uh, our cost base is low because sales uh, and manufacture of the product is, is outsourced. And uh, in terms of uh, summary, uh, we are able to um, reduce uh, emissions and fuel consumption, saving customers money whilst saving the planet. Uh, the product is patented. It's all green in its nature. Uh, it's very difficult to replicate uh, as it's uh, uh, patented and made by the old Axo Nobel, now a company called Nurian. Um, we are a high margin business and uh, every revenue that we generate is repeat. It's a subscription revenue. So this is why uh, we see revenues uh, looking to increase uh, dramatically in the future. And today, whilst we're looking to save the planet, uh, the product's core ingredients, those green emulsifiers are actually able to move into food uh, and botanical extracts. Uh, uh, so uh, the bioavailability how quickly it gets into your bloodstream can be improved. And then even looking at E numbers. So if you look on the back of a, fuel, a food packet, the E numbers, uh, they're emulsifiers. And we have uh, one of the strongest, best, all natural versions of that. And if I haven't explained enough or uh, anything else, then um, please, this is the, the real reason. We need to do something fast uh, to, to save the planet. Uh, and that's what we're able to do with Sonox immediately. Uh, and uh, I'm very thrilled to, uh, um, to uh, take any questions now. Ben, please come back in, in vision now. Thank you very much indeed. Um, it, it's good to hear that... Um you are patented because just listening to the supplementary um, business opportunities, they are huge, particularly the waste remediation, you know, where you use your demulsification process to can clean contaminated water of waste fuel and oil. I'm just wondering one step further, you know, the political bugbear is the discharge coming from water companies. They don't necessarily put... Um, um, fuel and oil contaminants into the water, but actually we don't know what they put into the water or the streams. But I'm wondering if that is is that something else that the the business would consider. Um, well, it's uh, we we have certainly last COP um, there was actually talk in Egypt of the grey water that was leaking out uh, from oil business into the coral reefs. That's certainly something we can do. Uh, our own water um, here. Uh, no, it's probably not something we, we can get involved in, but uh, um, my science team might think differently, but uh, we've got to stay focused now. We've got a wonderful uh, market uh, of pretty much every fossil fuel use in, user in the planet, every internal combustion engine. We've got to fix that, that problem now and then get excited about all the other things we can do later. So is it true that that market, this, the market that you're you're focusing on at the moment, is has the is ten billion liters of fuel a day, or is that a, a conservative estimate? Yeah, well, I think it's actually even more. Yeah, seventy percent of every barrel of oil, so it's seventy billion barrels a day that we can actually influence. And uh, where where I am in Africa, we're talking about trying to put it in in the refinery level. Um, and if uh, an African nation is importing 10% less fuel, then it's going to do wonders for its GDP, its balance of payments, its currency. So uh, that is the, the, the ultimate dream. Uh, and it's just works so well in Africa. Uh, it's actually going viral now in Ghana and, uh, and Nigeria. Their, their price of diesel has gone up five times. So for a product that can reduce their consumption 10, 15%, it's, uh, 
it's a humanitarian thing as well as a, a cost saving. You're a globe trotter. All these countries being mentioned. Thank you very much, Ben Richardson uh, from Sulnox. It's been a pleasure and uh, good thank luck. You. Love to see you again. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. And thank you also for participating in this webinar, a celebration of the best that is uh, part of the Aquis DNA.